In this video, we take a look at the physical interface of the Broncolor RFS 2.2 transmitter. The one that I'm showing you here today is for Nikon, but the same is going to apply to the Canon and the Sony versions of the trigger. The first thing I want to show you is the on and off button. It's going to be located over here on the right hand side, and it's just got a quick and easy toggle on and off. Located next to that is going to be the modeling light. This allows you to turn the modeling lights on and off of your strobes remotely right from the top of your camera using just your trigger. Following that is going to be our test button. It's really large and recessed, really easy to find, so if you're busy looking through your camera lens and you just want to go ahead and fire off a couple test frames to make sure everything's triggering, you've got that right available up top. The next thing you're going to notice is we're going to flip this over and you're going to find a large battery compartment down here. And that's great for us because it's going to house two AA batteries, which means our wireless trigger has a very standard, easy to find battery. So whether you're shooting in the studio or out on location, it's going to be very easy to have a fresh set with you or to find a fresh set of batteries no matter what. You're going to find the hot shoe up top. The hot shoe is really handy. It allows you to pass a signal through to other radio triggers and also allows you to attach a speed light up there so you can trigger your bronze color strobes as well as using a speed light on camera. Now this does not pass through a TTL or an auto FP signal, but the flash info and the trigger signal are able to be sent through. Finally, we're gonna look at the back and the interface of the RFS 2.2. Very top button you're gonna find here is ST. That stands for studio. And that's gonna be a group of lamps and that you can have up to 99 of these settings, so up to 99 groups of strobes. The next button is gonna be our HS button. The HS button is for Bron Color HS. This allows you to turn that and advance function on or off. And at the same time, if you do a long press, it's gonna give you the HSMA setting, which allows you to manually control the HS. So it does it automatically for you, but if you're finding you want to fine tune that adjustment, just do a long press and there you go. Finally below that is the LP button. The LP button stands for lamp, or a single lamp head in a single studio. Now you can set this up custom to how many lamps you own, or you can do up to 40 total lamps there. So for more details on how to get into your advanced menu settings, your custom menus, and how to really set up and control the power in your strobes using your RFS 2.2, make sure you check out some more videos in this series.